Hello people, welcome back. We are from Breaking Code and today we are here to teach you a coding problem. The name of the problem is count of maximum. This is a very very basic problem, very simple. Recently we got into touch with CodeChef. It's an awesome website. We talked to the guys there and they were initiating a new program CodeChef for schools. Like for the very beginners if they want to start coding. And that's why this idea came into our mind. Let's make more videos from the beginner section, like very basic. Uh, again, the problem is very basic. The link of the problem is in the description. Do uh, have a look at this link and then only watch the video. Count of maximum. Now, in, in this problem, what will be given is an array A, uh, which will be having elements. And what just we have to do is just find the element which is repeating itself maximum number of times and we just have to print its count like how many times it's repeating itself now let's take an example from the problem itself so if this is the array then uh, 2 is repeating itself 2 times so we just have to print 2 and it's repeating 2 times this is what our output should be of course there shouldn't be an array here arrow here again uh, if our uh, input is 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2 So now 1 is repeating itself 3 times and 2 is repeating itself 3 times So as there is a clash between both the elements it's clearly specified in the problem What we have to do is print the number which is uh, having a lesser value that is 1 That's why our answer should be 1 space 3 so this indicates 1 which is present 3 times so this is a pretty basic problem a lot of guys might be thinking that the obvious way to solve this problem is sorting the array like if we sort the upper array we get 1, 2, 2, 3, 5 and then we can easily find which element is present maximum times but then what's the fun in doing that we have an awesome technique called as hashing which can reduce the time complexity of the problem we introduced your technique a uh, lot before in the first problem itself uh, we have the link in of the problem is in the description do have a visit to this problem now let's do it again now let's use the same technique called as hashing now what what we'll be doing in hashing is just forming an array now as the maximum element here is pi so we'll just form an array of five columns now uh, it's not obvious uh, always that you should check for the maximum element uh, you just form an array of thousand elements or uh, what's the maximum limit that we can get that's clearly specified in the problem now the index is so in this case we'll initialize each element with zero now as the input comes what we'll do is as one comes as the input we'll increment this a of one let's consider this array as b sorry uh, so b of one we increment it by one next input is 2 then we again increment this element by 1 then 3 then the input is 2 then again a value of 2 is 1 that's why we increment it again now it becomes 2 this count specifies like how many times the element has occurred in our input now the next input is 5 so we'll increment this value by 1 so 0 becomes 1 so at the end we have to just traverse the array once and find the maximum element which is present and just its print a and just print its index and the value itself like 2 2 so this indicates that 2 has appeared maximum number of times and how many times that's this 2 so this was a pretty basic problem let for the beginners let's take another example now consider if a array is 1 1 2 3 2 1 5 so we'll again take a array so initialize each element with 0 this becomes 1 as first input is 1 so our 1 gets incremented again the next input is 1 so our 1 becomes 2 this is 2 that's why this becomes 1 this is 3 becomes 1 again this is 2 2 becomes 2 this is 1 again so 2 becomes 3 this is 5 so five, this becomes 1 <coughs> and at the end we have to just traverse the array and find the maximum number which is present in this this is 3 and just print its index and that element itself like 1 3 now just for the beginners how you might not be getting how to code this problem the coding of this problem is pretty simple we have to just uh, use a for loop like just make an array of that many elements and then what we have to do is just take inputs from the user by using scanf 
if we take the input in x then all, all that we have to do is just increment a of x by 1 so this is how you code this problem just keep on taking the inputs from the user and keep incrementing the value a of x by 1 and that's why the value keeps on incre uh, increasing and at the end you just have to traverse the whole array by using a for loop and just find for the maximum value which is present in the for loop so this was pretty basic thanks guys for watching the video do subscribe to our channel we will be making more videos basic and even the complex stuff of dynamic programming graphs and other stuff so thanks guys do like the video good night